Hey guys, welcome back to Harrison Hacks. Today I'm going to show you a custom version of MAME for Windows that's going to make Killer Instinct run better than your standard MAME. Stay tuned. Welcome to Harrison Hacks. Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So let's get right into this. I'm just going to show you I have OG MAME 264. It's the latest release of MAME. And then I have my own compiled Ultra MAME 264 right here. So I only did this for the Killer Instinct games. And the reason I did was, I'll show you. When I launch, whether it be Killer Instinct 1 or 2, we'll start with 1. Select my BIOS. Hit a button. But if I put in coins, before that ding, I've got lower sound and no music right now. So you can compare here, no music. So I'll exit out. This time I'll launch it again, same way. But I'm going to wait for the ding. There it is. There we go. Just like that, Killer Instinct 2. I'll do the same thing. I'm going to insert coins. Now it dings. I've got no music. Volume's low. Just double click. Start it up again. I'll wait for the ding. Now it's working. So. I noticed that and here is my workaround for that. So on the left is my standard MAME folder, on the right is my ultra MAME folder. And basically what I'm going to do here is take my save states folder. These are my custom save states. I'm going to copy and paste. Then I have a kinst.ini and a kinst2.ini. I'm going to right click on those, copy and paste and then we will replace now you might not have any yet but you just copy them in there and now we'll launch up standard MAME so inside of standard MAME we'll launch Killer Instinct and there we go but you can see it says loaded state on the bottom but now it loads past the ding, so you don't have to worry about inserting coins before the ding. But I want to get rid of that loaded state. Because if you're having this in an arcade cabinet, you don't want to see any of that or have to choose the BIOS. So let's go ahead and check out my Ultra MAME. Okay, so we're going to launch up my Ultra MAME 264. Launch up KI1. Boom. Loads right in, but no save state saying anything. No choosing BIOSes. Everything's all set for you. Same with KI2. So basically, what's going to happen is I'm going to give you everything in the description except for ROMs. There will be no ROMs in here. But what you're going to need is Killer Instinct 1 and 2, the zip files, and then the CHD files within folders like this. And you can find those easily on the internet. And that is how you get past that issue with MAME. The biggest thing for me is putting an arcade cabinet. People put in quarters prior to the ding because they're excited to play. And then they've got no music on the menus. The sound is lower doesn't matter what you do to change it. So my workaround was the auto save states. Make sure they're read only. So when you have them, I just want to quickly show this. Inside of my save states, I have two. So if I go to my kinst, auto.sta, I'm going to right click, properties. Read only has a check mark. Has to be like that. Kinst 2, just want to double check. Same thing. 
Those are going to let you bypass the ding. <laughs> I don't know how else to say it. And then this is a custom built MAME EXE that doesn't show loaded save state. It just looks like Killer Instinct launched up and people are ready to play. So that's going to do it for this one, guys. I really appreciate you watching. Please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, but most importantly, have a good day.